Okay, welcome to Paranormal Travels with JB. We're going to start our series, Are Witches Real? So we're going to head down to Burkittsville, Maryland. It's a good little drive. So we're going to explore the point of origin and the calls for the Blair Witch Project movie. Remember, wherever movies and films and shows come from, usually generates something, either a legend or the legend is already there. So we're going to go down and we're going to explore it and we're going to see what we come up with. Stay tuned. Hey folks, welcome to Paranormal Travels with JB. Uh, on our way to Burkittsville for the uh, Witch is Real series and we got off the exit and decided to hit this cemetery. Pretty creepy cemetery. Old, very old cemetery. Check it out and uh, then we'll be on our way to Burkittsville. Thanks for watching and uh, please like and subscribe below. We appreciate it. Something. You know what I think is weird? What? Look at this. I know, it's like... It kind of looks like something was just... Dug up and reburied or... Every... would be the term. And it, it looks like a couple spots too. Doesn't it's that like... look kind of odd though? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of weird. Hmm. Okay. So these are from 1875? Yeah, who would dig them up though? I don't... Hmm. Who would dig them up? And there's another spot up here. And it obviously was just dug up, it wasn't it? Yeah. Look at that. One, two, right three, here. four, five. Yep. Five, excuse me, different spots in a very, very old cemetery. Yeah, I mean, come up. on. 1929. Come on. It was oh, over here, too. Look. Oh, my goodness. Look at the size of this. Look at the stones. Some of the stones are like. You know what I'm thinking? What? Maybe somehow they needed to exhume some of these for... Identification? No. I don't know. And a bell isn't rings it, this it time of night. Canonized when they, when they uh, put, push them up to a saint level. Then they take their bones out and put them in like in the church and stuff. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. Hmm. You tell me, I don't know, I don't see any grass planted. I don't know. Me either. I think that's a little weird. That is a little weird. Maybe it's typical. Okay. Alright, well, that was our... That was our... Creepy cemetery visit. Hmm. Don't know where these holes came from, but they came from somewhere. What do you think? I really don't know what to make of it. There really isn't any reason why it would be done up. So I don't know. We could ask if we see anybody. Well, we're out in the middle of nowhere. We got less than four miles now to Burkittsville. Yeah, buddy. The 
energy. I already feel it. The closer we get. <laughs> we are in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> running into whoever in the middle of nowhere here whoever find our bodies oh does anybody know where we're headed hunter oh, our son <laughs> who who a week from now he'll be wondering why dad and stepmom never contacted him <laughs> well hunter can hunt for us and know I'm missing oh goodness gracious included a lot oh it's yeah. Okay. It's, um, I don't know what I was expecting. But yeah. Pretty foresty, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh. Look at it. It's definitely set in the middle of the mountains. Yeah. Burkittsville. Yes. Hmm. As we're getting closer, oh, we're starting to see some housing. Not much. Burkittsville has a town population of about 170 to 200 people, maybe. So, yeah, it's been around since the 1800s. It began the beginning of development here in the Middleton Valley, 1720s. 1720s. I'm okay. off a little. There's a sign. Welcome to Perkinsville. All right, we're here. So this is 1824 is when it was established. The actual township itself. Founded in the 1700s, though. We're here. Stealing it's fines. It's stolen and over and over and over again, so they changed the look of it apparently right. according to the paper, so that it was less attractive and more patriotic. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. So it had less of a feel of um, spookiness. Exactly. That's weird. So Pretty we're nice. on Main Street, this quaint little town of Burkittsville. Not a lot of action here, as you can see. We're just going to follow the street down to the end and then we'll turn around. Just missed the bell going off. It's kind of that laid back town feeling. Heading up into the cemetery. This is where some of the Blair Witch was uh, filmed.
guy. Looks good. Take a couple still shots back here too. Kind of creepy, wasn't it? So well, I'm yeah. Up, yeah, I definitely feel that that was. Weird. Yeah, it was letting us know how creepy it really is <laughs> out here. I guess I need to uh, make sure that's locked. So, um, it's an actual battle here, civil war, and um, there has been some sightings of civil war soldiers, things like that. There's even a place called Spooky, uh, Spooky Hill or Spook Hill that supposedly if you go down and you put your, you're at the bottom of the hill, uh, soldiers will push you to the top. You know, things like that. We're going to probably come out and try that one night when it's dark out to add to the series of uh, Our Witch is Real. Just because, you know, there's a feeling around this town that, you know, you're not wanted. You're here talking about witches and they don't want you here. Great view. Beautiful. Never dreamed that uh, a small town like this could hold, you know, a couple of legends. And um, point of origin for one legend is, of course, the, the Blair Witch Project, which was actually fiction. But it inspired, and, and so many people focused on the Blair Witch Project that, you know, a legend was born out here. And are the witches in the woods? We don't know. Are the witches running around town? No one ever knows. Are witches real? I believe they're real. Um, are they here? We're going to find out. There is a creepy feeling out here. There's nobody here. I mean, we rode up and down Main Street and maybe one or two people were out in a town of 200 or less. So you're not expecting a lot of people. They have a little tiny store that, I don't know, looks like it's from the 1700s. See the town up and down hills. This small town was invaded by Blair Witch fanatics before the movie was released and after the movie was released. And a legend was born. I will walk down to the main street On the main strip here, Burkittsville, quaint little town, like I said. Um, and as you see, 
the post office. And it's closed, of course, because it's Sunday. Very small. Church, St. Paul's Lutheran Church. And then South Mountain. South Mountain Heritage Society. Preserving Burkittsville's history. Let's go check out the sign over here. Cobblestone still in the area. There's Burkittsville. There's the sign. Became a house of misery. Antietam campaign of 1862. It's actual museum here. Bunny rabbit. like the Confederates area back in the Civil War and we're getting ready to go up and take a look the burial plot in mausoleum 1895 okay it's a little warm out here and you wonder why there are spirits here this was battleground witches I don't know <laughs> Got that witchy feeling Oh. Gates empty tomb. So he was buried in Philadelphia instead of this tomb as he had desired. Huh, isn't that something? He wanted to be buried here and instead wasn't. Not cool. What do you think? Hmm. I think that would make him return. He's definitely returned. He wants to be here. I mean, that would be. Let me get a couple photos. All right. Of course, Gath back then, who did not get buried where he wanted to be, um, with the mausoleum behind me, you can see clearly that if I didn't get buried where I wanted to be buried, I'm returning. So I'm sure, like I said, this is sacred land, and I'm sure that he's still here, or he came back here. And that looks like a casket there. up on some sacred land here. Civil War signs. Uh, General Lee. Uh, we are... There's this arch right behind the mausoleum. Leads up into the woods.
we're going to go find the wooded path where some of the scenes were filmed that they actually had um, runes and things like that hanging in the trees for the movie. Pretty creepy. We're heading out. Okay, folks, I am in the middle of nowhere. Came across the cemetery. Okay. This is really, really <laughs> creepy. Cemetery, house is boarded up. Whatever that may be. This is no trespassing, of course. But this is in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to go down a little closer. But I'm going to not stay too long because, as you see, no trespassing. And I guarantee you there's some activity in this building, in this land. Yep, guarantee it. Witch house? Don't know. <laughs> We're in the middle of the woods. Um, would I go in there? Don't know. The floors are probably unstable, so... And I'm by myself, besides my wife, and she's in the vehicle. About a half a mile away, I walk through the woods. Gares Bethel AME Church, 1870. Yep, she's tore down, wore out, middle of nowhere. Cemetery. I'm going to head out. I'm out. See you, folks. Okay, we're wrapping up tonight. Uh, this is JB, Paranormal Travels. Um, we're going to be heading to Germantown next episode to keep this uh, legend alive. You know, our witch is real. Stay tuned for the next episode. Hit that like and subscribe button down below and get ready for the notifications that will come your way. I'm out. The car cam keeps getting turned off. So, you know, huh, make this quick. This area definitely deserves a second look. And we will be back, and it will be nighttime when we find Coffin Rock.